Hello friends, today in this session we will discuss braking and acceleration characteristics of vehicles and these are part of the dynamic characteristics of vehicles. Braking and acceleration of vehicles are very common while driving a vehicle on a road. Braking is required when stopping a vehicle at intersections or to slow down the speed near a speed breaker or near a pedestrian crossing or negotiating a horizontal curve. And similarly, acceleration characteristics is required to start a vehicle from a stop position or during overtaking operations. And therefore, it is important to study the braking and acceleration characteristics for safety on roads and skidding of vehicles after sudden applications of brakes. Acceleration is required to know the time to cross an intersection from a stop position or to determine the distance required to overtake other vehicle on the road and it is also required in gap acceptance process in merging area or in crossing areas. Braking distance is the distance required to stop a vehicle after application of brakes and this distance can be calculated by putting kinetic energy of motion equal to the work done by the friction force. So if m is the mass of the vehicle and it is moving at a speed of v then half mv square is the kinetic energy of the motion. And m into g is the weight. If f is the coefficient of friction between tire and the pavement, then m into g into f becomes the friction force. And if the braking distance is dB, then this is the work done by the force. So the work done is equal to kinetic energy. And that tells you the equation dB is equal to v square upon 2gf. And here v is the speed in meter per second. dB is called the braking distance. It is in meter and small f is the coefficient of friction between tire and the pavement. If there is a gradient on the highway or on the road, then this equation is transformed to v square upon 2g into f plus minus g, where capital G is the gradient. And this equation is converted to v square upon 254 into f plus minus g if v is taken in kilometer per hour dB remains in meter that is the braking distance and V is the speed in kilometer per hour. F is same that coefficient of friction between tire and pavement and this capital G is the gradient which is taken as a slope or in proportion. It is positive for up gradient and negative for downgrade. Acceleration characteristics of a vehicle depends on horsepower, speed and gradient and there are two theories of acceleration. One is uniform acceleration theory, other is non-uniform acceleration theory. And let me go to the whiteboard to explain these two theories of acceleration. Uniform acceleration theory is based on simple equation of motion. V is equal to V0 plus AT or S is equal to V0 into T plus half AT square or you can say that s is equal to v square minus v naught square upon 2d or 2a where v is the final velocity v0 is the initial velocity a is the rate of acceleration and t is the time so if you want to find out speed after time t then this is the equation or if you want to find out the distance traveled in time t while accelerating at the rate of a, then this is the equation to be used. And distance required to reach the final speed v from initial speed v0 while accelerating at the rate of a. These are simple equations based on theory of motion. But in actual case, in practice, acceleration is not uniform. But it is high at low speed and low at high speed. And therefore, non-uniform acceleration theory is more practical than uniform acceleration theory. And this theory assumes that the rate of acceleration is given by this equation. dB upon dt which is acceleration is alpha minus beta into v where v is the speed alpha and beta are two constants 
and this dv upon dt is equal to alpha minus beta v can be written like this also that dt is equal to dv upon alpha minus beta v and therefore if you integrate this equation from 0 to t and from initial velocity to final velocity final velocity v then you can find out the time required to reach speed v given alpha and beta at t is equal to 0 that is the start of the journey speed is v0 that is initial speed initial speed and at t is equal to time t that is the final speed final speed at time t and when v is 0 that is in the starting when v is 0 the rate of acceleration is maximum and therefore dv upon dt or you can say a is equal to alpha and when acceleration is 0 when dv by dt is 0 then speed is maximum and that maximum speed is alpha upon beta so these are two boundary conditions for this equation that when v is 0 rate of acceleration is maximum and that is this coefficient and when acceleration is 0 then speed is maximum X speed is maximum and that is alpha upon beta now if you integrate this equation with respect to t and with respect to v then t is equal to 1 upon beta into log of alpha minus beta v into from v0 to v as a limit initial velocity to final velocity in time t or you can say 1 upon beta into log of alpha minus beta v minus log of alpha minus beta v0 or t is equal to 1 upon beta into log of alpha minus beta v upon alpha minus beta v0 remember v0 is the initial speed and v is the final speed so this is the time required to achieve a speed from v0 to v0 or you can say that log alpha minus beta v upon alpha minus beta v naught is minus beta into t or alpha minus beta v upon alpha minus beta v0 is e to the power minus beta t. Now if you solve this equation you can get speed after time t. Speed will be alpha, min, alpha upon beta into 1 minus e to the power minus beta plus v0 into e to the power minus beta. This is the equation to find out speed of the vehicle at time t and the given rate of acceleration is dv upon dt is equal to alpha minus beta v. If you substitute value of b, value of v here, this this value of v substitute here then you will get that dv upon dt is equal to alpha minus beta into v and v is alpha upon beta 1 minus e to the power beta t plus v0 into e to the power minus beta t. Just substituting value of v in this equation from here. Just to introduce the speed v0 in this equation. And if you solve this equation, alpha minus alpha 1 minus 
अल्फा पावर बीटा टी प्लस अल्फा इंटू वी जीरो पावर माइनस बीटा टी फर्दर फर्दर यू गैट डी वी अपॉन डी टी इज इक्वल टू अल्फा माइनस बीटा इंटू वी जीरो इंटू ई टू दावर माइनस बीटा टी नाउ दिस इज द इक्वेशन वेयर यू कैन फाइंड आउट एक्सेलरेशन एट एनी टाइम टी गिवन द इनिशियल स्पीड ऑफ द व्हीकल वी जीरो एंड वी मस्ट we must appreciate the difference between this equation and this equation both are given acceleration this equation gives you acceleration at the speed v now in this equation it is not v it is v0 that is initial speed it gives acceleration at time t if you know the initial speed of the vehicle now v is written as dx upon dt that is the differentiation of the distance and therefore if you write down this equation in this manner that dx upon dt is alpha upon beta 1 minus e to the power beta minus beta plus b not into e to the power minus beta and then you differentiate you integrate this equation you can get the value of x that is alpha upon beta into t minus alpha upon beta Square into one minus beta t plus v zero upon beta into one minus e to the power minus beta t. This is the equation where you can find out distance traveled by a vehicle in time t, starting with a speed of v zero, having the acceleration. defined by this equation alpha minus beta into v alpha beta are known initial speed is known so you can find out the distance traveled in time t similarly in this equation alpha beta are known from this equation you can find out what is the speed of the vehicle after time t if you know the initial speed of the vehicle so this is non uniform acceleration theory and this is used to calculate the time required for a vehicle to overtake a slow moving vehicle or maybe time required to clear the intersection now let me take one example to illustrate the use of this these equations and example is like this that a driver is traveling at a speed initial speed of 50 km per hour and it encounters a slow moving vehicle and at some point of time it decides to overtake and therefore it passes the accelerator now the acceleration is given by this equation dv upon dt is equal to 1.22 minus 0.0 so it is non uniform acceleration it depends upon the speed and question is in four parts what is the maximum speed maximum speed of the vehicle and i told you maximum speed is when dv upon dt is zero so if dv upon dt that is acceleration is zero then 1.22 Minus 0.02 into v must be equal to zero, or v 1.22 upon 0.2, that is equal to 61 meter per second. And if you convert this into kilometer per hour, multiply it by 3.6, and you get a speed in kilometer per hour. The second is what is the maximum rate of acceleration? maximum rate of acceleration and maximum rate of acceleration is obtained when v is zero and that is 1.22 so maximum rate of acceleration is 1.22 meter per second square or if you multiply this by 3.6 you get 
4.39 kilometer per hour per second. That is the maximum rate of acceleration of the vehicle. The third is what is the acceleration after 3 seconds? Acceleration after 3 seconds. Now here we use that equation. Here we use acceleration at after 3 seconds dv upon dt is alpha minus beta into v0 into e to the power minus beta t. Alpha is 1.22, beta is 0 0.02. Initial speed v0 is 50 km per hour. 50 km per hour, convert that into meter per second, divide by 3.6 and you get the speed in meter per second as 13.89 meter per second. Substitute value here, t is 3, so you get 1.22 minus 0 0.02 multiplied by 13.89 into e to the power minus 0 0.029 sorry, 0 0.02 into 3, 3 seconds. And this value will be 0 0.8873 meter per second square. Multiplied by 3.6, you get 3.19 kilometer per hour per second. So this is the acceleration rate after 3 seconds of start of the acceleration. And the fourth question is time to reach the speed of 120 km per hour. Now 120 km per hour is equal to 33.33 meter per second. Now here you are, you are required to find the time. And therefore, take the equation of time that T is 1 upon beta into log alpha minus beta V upon alpha minus beta V0. That is the equation we derived. Beta again, 0, 2 and log alpha minus 1.22 minus 0 0.02 into 33.33 that is the final speed divided by 1.22 minus 0 0.02 into initial speed 50 km per hour that is 18.13.89 and this gives you a value of 11.5 seconds. So a vehicle starting at 50 km per hour and with the rate of acceleration given by this equation will reach the speed of 120 km per hour in 11.5 seconds. So that is how we use this non-uniform acceleration theory. So friends, thank you very much for watching this video. You can write the comments in the comment box.